Igor Sesterkin nearly makes history, the Islander haters get more fodder, and the hottest team in the NHL lives up to their name. Coming soon to a theater near you, Before we get started, please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining, interactive podcast. So, check us out and our library of videos. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the second episode of NHL Snipes featuring Mark Williams. We're going to change to a more shorter form, uh, form of content because, you know, we we already got enough long forms type of stuff. So this will be nice little short videos and you won't have to worry about seeing about an hour and a half of runtime. So I'm going to start with the New York Rangers at the Ottawa Senators on Sunday night. There they were, up 2-1, to one, late in the game, goalie pulled, and puck goes behind the net to Igor Sesterkin. Send it in. Sesterkin out to get it. Fires it up the middle to the empty net, and oh, he just missed! It's an icing! Missed it by that much. I swear when Sam was starting to go crazy, I just, I thought this was going to happen. But instead, it went just slightly off target, mostly like my putting. Son of a bitch, Paul, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? But man, that is going to be a sight to see when that comes out, you know? You can do it! To the New York Islanders. If you didn't see it on last week's show, we posted a post from All Things Islanders, one of our sister pages, and... It was a post defending Barry Trotz and Lou Lamarillo. And Islander fans, it is just a bad season. So hopefully change course, retool, be good again next year. But that's not where the title line comes in. Sunday afternoon, they suffer a shootout loss to the Montreal Canadiens and new coach Marty St. Louis. Now, other stories are in there like Andrew Hammond making his first appearance in four years, or his first win in four years, I should say. You know, it doesn't look good when you when you look at it from the eye test, but the important thing is that they have a plan for next season, and you know a Hall of Fame general manager will probably get that done. Who's the hottest team in the NHL right now? Of course it's the Calgary Flames. They are literally on fire, and they won their last 10 games, in the middle of that winning streak, they pick up Tyler Toffoli, a perfect player for Daryl Sutter, who wants two Stanley Cups with him. And he's fitting right in. He's already got a few goals under his belt with the team. On Saturday's show, we made our predictions on who's going to win the Pacific Division. Mine was the Calgary Flames. Now, whether or not they're going to win the West, there's some tough teams that they're going to have to battle. Vegas, Colorado, possibly the St. Louis Blues. They are looking like the kings of old, the 2012 to 2014 Stanley Cup champions. And they have a dark horse MVP candidate in Johnny Goudreau. 20 goals, 44 assists, 64 points. He's a plus 41. I don't know if he's ever been a plus 41 in his, in his career up until this point. Nope. The highest he's ever been is plus 18. So how about that? And Sutter's influence is really kicking into the Calgary Flames. Look for them to make a lot of noise in the future. Who knows? They might be my Stanley Cup pick come playoff time. Jack Eichel played three games in Vegas last week, and I predicted that with the weight of not being a Buffalo Saber on him, and as well as all the turmoil that was in that organization, Eichel was going to take the lead of Matt Stafford and succeed. Sure enough... He's got point per game right now, and in San Jose, he did this. In front, all alone with Stevenson, back to Eichel, he scores! Jack Eichel, his first goal as a member of the Vegas Golden Knights. Eichel will look to build on his season when the Vegas Golden Knights visit the Arizona Coyotes starting Friday the 25th. And back-to-back -back with them versus Colorado. Ugh. Can't wait to see that one. But the cream rise to the top oh yeah thanks for joining me today on nhl snipes with mark williams we look forward to more of these videos coming out soon if you haven't seen john falkowski's tribute to former head coach 
Emil Francis. Click right over here. And if you want to know what the best hockey video games are of all time, our picks are right here. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.